Adam, and I'm with a, a website called copblock.org. Okay. Um, I have, Can I help you, Adam? Great. I have questions about uh, Tammy Miller, who was arrested for uh, dis desecrating a flag and larceny charges. And, th and those were those charges are being pressed by the owner of the flag. I was wondering who was pressing the charges against her because desecration of a flag and larceny charges sound like um, those would be brought on by the state. Uh, and then I was wondering if it was policy of officers to, I mean, this woman needs help. She doesn't need uh, uh, charges and, and other things to be brought against her. I was wondering if it was the, the owner of the flag. I mean, that would be more just. At least there's a victim. Here, here there's no victim. Well, I mean, there's a victim in the case. Okay. The, the victim is the owner of the flag? Right, but then uh, the officer wasn't called till 7.20, and then he found uh, Miss Miller in the end of a driveway with the flag wrapped around her, which she admitted. But so she, she wasn't charged with desecrating a flag and larceny charges, as the tccoasttalk.com has reported? No, she was charged with that. She was? Yeah. And those charges are brought on by who? The state. The state, meaning the officer at the scene use discretion feeling that she should also be charged. Okay, so do we, do you feel that the officer, uh, that this is acceptable? I mean, there, th she's already being punished for the property being taken from the homeowner. She, she's going to face charges on that and have to make restitution for the damaged flag. Um, do you think that it helps this woman to additionally bring charges against her that might lead her to a, a, a lengthy prison term that at the end of the day will only hamper taxpayers? It'll punish them. Sure. Um, well, my, my thought process is like sometimes if let's say there was a man who robbed a store and shot somebody for murder and when you caught him, he had a bag of weed in his pocket. You probably wouldn't charge him with possession of marijuana, but you would charge him with murder because he's going to do a... Well, what would you say commonly? I mean, I, I could show you a bunch of stories where that does happen, but my, my, my point is... Well... Touche, sir. But my, my point here is, do you think that th that this woman needs help, or does she, does she need to be in a jail? I, I think both. I, I think that she does need some help, and there are programs that uh, are offered by our San County Jail. No? Right, but that's paid for by taxation. At, at the end of the day, punishing people. This woman didn't didn't physically harm anybody. She she's not a violent person, but we're going to put her in a violent area as opposed to getting her treatment and help. Um, instead, put her through an overburdened court system that she's already going to go to for stealing of a flag. Okay, so n not so this 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 uh, write-up was wrong. Not only is she facing charges by the person she actually harmed, the person whose property she stole, but the state is also going to butt in and charge her with other things and, and a fine. What what is the penalty for?
okay, um, I understand how you do that, but how come that isn't the same case when it's an officer that is being accused of a crime? How come they get like a, a, an additional investigation or officers use discretion and drop some charges? Well, I'm saying sometimes like w when officers are like a, get, get a DUI charge or, or they assault somebody, they're put on like paid administrative leave. Um, there's another investigation through internal affairs. Um, there's My, my point is that it seems merely that um, officers, w when they're being investigated, are given the benefit of the doubt and, and sometimes a, a second look or a more thorough investigation when, when people, regular citizens, are brought with a crime, they're simply added to charges and have their day in court. Um, I don't think that this is just um, to, to hamper this woman who purely needs um, rehab or some sort of counseling of some sort and, and, and is already facing charges to the person she actually violated properties who she violated, um, do you think it's, it's over punishment, an overburden of the system, an abuse on taxpayer dollars, etc., to, to do such a thing? But the process is severely more lengthy and tailored to an officer as opposed to a civilian who is ticketed and has its day in court. I'm saying that if, 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 if discretion is used otherwise, can it be used on officers in, in the field? Say that again. Can't, can't discretion be used by officers in the field? Do you think the officer in this case... Officers have a limited amount of discretion in the field, yes. Uh, so Officer Woodrow in this case could have said, she's already going to be punished and have to pay restitution to this flag. There is no point to these other charges. They're, they're, they're overburdening. They're, they're, it's like dual charges. Um, and not to mention, she, they're, they're severe charges that could lead her into a prison for years length at a time. At the end of the day, would punish taxpayers, people who had nothing to do with this incident. Adam, I don't think I'm going to be able to answer your question to your satisfaction. No, no. I was wondering how you feel about it personally. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time and clearing up the charges for me. Um, I hope your officers do use discretion and maybe ask well, themselves. Use discretion all the time. Well, maybe they should ask themselves. Absolutely, but maybe they should ask themselves if there's a victim in this crime and what the benefit there would be. But the victim has been satisfied in the crime. He's th they're going to be sought restitution, and she will be thought for charges. What, what's the point of? That's, she didn't desecrate a flag. This woman needed to be... Would you rather have her freeze to death or use a flag to keep warm and make it through the night? Well, that is a jury of her peers to decide, no, It is. But, again, thank you for your time. I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you.